Welcome back to our Spotlight series. This is Spotlight number four, Student Tips. As we get closer to the start of school and excitement increases, we have highlighted 10 important areas for our students based upon your input, concerns, and questions. In order for students to maximize their productivity, it is strongly encouraged that students find a place to go where they can focus and concentrate, to find an organized workspace that's free of distractions, a desk or table space where students can work freely and have access to Wi-Fi and multiple power connections for their multiple devices. If any of these pose an issue, we encourage our students to let their teachers know. And if you are in need of tech support, room 115 is open. Contact Dr. Pasecki at kpasecki at uniancatholic.org with any issues. There are three necessary documents that students must utilize here in the first marking period. The first is the daily schedule so that students can determine exactly what class they have during a specific period. It's advised that students take a photo and keep an electronic copy of their daily schedule for their reference. The second necessary document is the bell schedule. The Union Catholic bell schedule is available on the Union Catholic website and the UC app. And then the final piece is the marking period one calendar so that each class will know exactly when they are scheduled to be at Union Catholic. Here is the marking period one calendar, which shows which class should be at Union Catholic on what day. So for instance, on Wednesday, September the 2nd, the class of 2023 will have their orientation, followed by Thursday the 3rd, which would be the class of 2024, and then Friday the 4th will be the class of 2021. There is no school on Monday, September 7th for Labor Day, and then on Tuesday the 8th, it's a class of 2022 orientation. There will be no school on Wednesday, September 9th for Professional Development Day. And then the first full day of school is Thursday, September 10th. The students in grade nine, the freshmen, will be reporting to school on that day. It will be a virtual day for the sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Teachers will give specific instructions on how that will look and how that will work for all students during their class orientations. The dress code will be broken into two components for marking period number one. The first is Zoom sessions. During Zoom sessions, students must be in UC polos or UC gear. The second component of the dress code is when students are in the building. And it will be a modified dress code for marking period number one. For marking period number one, students are permitted to be in their Union Catholic uniforms. Students are also permitted to wear UC polos, pants that are not Flynn and O'Hara, and students are permitted to wear sneakers as part of the modified dress code for marking period number one. Three Zoom highlights for this school year. There will be a participation grade. Please make sure that you are on time and ready to work for your Zoom sessions. Students must be in dress code. And attendance will be taken. A parent email to the direct teacher is required for any absence. Students must be visible during all Zoom sessions. And students may use backgrounds 
Teachers will discuss this at length during orientation week. Again, attendance will be taken during all Zoom sessions. If you cannot attend a Zoom session, your parent or guardian must email that teacher directly. Without an email by your parent or guardian, it will be recorded as an unexcused absence and points will be deducted from the participation grade. A new feature this year is that teachers will hold office hours. All specific details will be provided during orientation week. The purpose of faculty office hours is to provide a chance for there to be answers to questions, clarifications, review of material, extra help possibilities, and test prep. Again, there will be office hours for our faculty this year. All students have their own Canvas accounts. Canvas is the official learning management system of Union Catholic, allowing teachers to organize curriculum to help students keep on track and to access all resources in one place. Within Canvas, all coursework is organized and accessible. It is the hub for all of the students' courses, including calendars, assignments, communications, discussion boards, and additional online resources. Students should check their Canvas accounts and calendars daily in order to keep current and to be academically successful. Synergy is where you will find your official grade books. Parents and students can view student grades 24 seven. All grades will be posted within seven calendar days of student assessments. A Honeywell will continue to go out to remind parents at progress report time to make sure they check their student's current status. Students should regularly check their current standing in Synergy and communicate directly with their teachers with any questions about grades. All school counseling meetings will be by appointment only here in the first marking period. If students would like a meeting with their counselor, they must email their counselor for an appointment. And then the decision will be made if it's a virtual meeting or in person. For parent meetings with counselors, parents must email counselors for appointments and all parent meetings will only be virtual. There will be counseling staff in person each day for in-school mental health emergencies only. There will be limited entry into the school counseling office. There are a number of different functions of our school counselors. There is college counseling, social emotional learning, various meetings, and career counseling as just some of the many functions of our school counselors. Four Seasons Food Service will again be providing the food service at Union Catholic. An email has already been sent to each one of our students' email addresses with information regarding lunch service. It will be a grab and go situation all orders must be made online and must be pre-purchased with either a credit card or a Four Seasons card. All orders must be made online either the night before or by 8 a.m. that day. When the students come down to the cafeteria, their lunch will be waiting there for them to be picked up. In the cafeteria, it is one student per table. More specifics of this will be discussed at orientation week. Students can also bring lunch from home. I just want to remind everyone that no microwave use will be permitted in the cafeteria. Breakfast service will not be available at Union Catholic. So again, four seasons is again the 
the food service provider at Union Catholic. It will be grab-and-go lunches. All orders must be made through the Four Seasons website, which has been sent to all of our students via email. The Four Seasons website is also available on the Union Catholic webpage. All orders must be made in advance by 8 a.m. There will be no food available during the lunch period itself and no financial transactions during that time. Again, all orders and all purchasing must take place online by 8 a.m. that day. Prior to your arrival at Union Catholic, all students must fill out a health questionnaire, which includes taking a temperature and entering the results of that temperature. All students will then receive a barcode when they have successfully completed the questionnaire, which will allow them access into our building. All members of our community must wear masks and must maintain social distancing. Everyone must continue to wash their hands and to wash their hands for a minimum of 20 seconds throughout the course of the day. Our next spotlight will feature more detail about safety and health at Union Catholic. Here is the orientation schedule for September 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 8th. The sophomores will report on September 2nd, the freshmen on September 3rd, seniors on Friday, September 4th, and then the juniors on September 8th. Please note that we will be following this schedule, Monday period one, Monday period two. Everyone will then report to Monday period three for our opening prayer service and opening class meeting. Then it will be Monday period three, followed by Tuesday period one. Monday period four is where we will utilize all three lunch periods. And we will follow that with Monday five, Monday six, and Tuesday number five. Again, this will be the orientation schedule for September 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 8th.